So in recent months, AI is getting super popular, especially in the large language model area. And I think it's last week that DeepSeek released the R1 model, which shocks the industry. Several months ago, I, I feel fortunate that I, I got my dream laptop, which is a MacBook Pro M4 Max, uh, almost top specs, except the hard drive. So this laptop has a 128 gigabytes of um, memory. At the time I buy it, I, I know that I'm going to use this to do some experiment with uh, cloud computing and uh, deep learning. That's the main reason that I got this uh, high-end laptop. Both tasks need a lot of memory. In cloud computing, when I want to simulate a Kubernetes cluster on my local, I need a lot of memory to fit a lot of pods inside. In deep learning, of course, I need memory to load the models, and uh, I also need computation power to do fine-tuning. If you are interested, check out my last video where I set up multiple Kubernetes clusters on a local MacBook laptop. I'm not using it for a video editing, I'm not interested in that, or not anymore. So if you search on YouTube recently, when people are trying to benchmark how good is a laptop, what I see is that most people just start a Olama server and give you the number of how many tokens per second for some popular models. I mean, it's great, but uh, after a month, it, it starts to feel boring. I know for, for normal people, what they want is much more than an electronic encyclopedia. That's not enough because all these things they ask on local LLM, they can also just ask the free version of ChatGPT. Well, why, why do they need to deploy that on the local machine? There must be something else that uh, your model can do. That's what I'm going to show you in this video. But first, still, let's just follow the trend of YouTube. Let's see how this laptop performs with a large language model locally. This DeepSeq R1 model, uh, QWIN, 32 billion parameters, 4 bits version, is above 18 gigabytes. So let's try this model. So I'm inside my LM studio. Let me, let's load the model. And let's use a maximum context length. It took a while to load the model. You can see that LM Studio took around 18 gigabytes of RAM. So let's ask the model a simple question, maybe. I also have my GPU history turned down, and let's see how much GPU it uses. Let's put it here. So I'm going to ask this question Can you? write me a short sci-fi story okay and let's see so what I can see here is that the, the laptop is using 120 watts of uh, power looks like the memory usage increases a little bit GPU is fully used. The model is still writing the story. Yeah, it's very long. It's longer than I thought. And now I can hear a little bit of a, a fan spinning sound. It's not, it's not noisy. I used the Windows laptop before. It's, it's, this is much better. We have around 22 tokens per second. Uh, this is using the 32 billion big model. It gives us 1500 tokens. That looks good. So now I want to ensure that we are running a web server for this model. So it says it's running at this uh, local IP address. So after that, I, I found that just running some popular models like DeepSeek is not fun for me anymore. I got an idea to do something everyone cares about. So I'm going to use deep learning for stock prediction. I believe this becomes a research topic since at least 20 years ago. There were people working on algorithm trading at the time when I was still in university. So this is not something new, but this topic will never get boring because who doesn't like earning money, right? I have a project that collects the news of a given stock in recent weeks, then extracts the summary of this news, compile them into a list, then we create a prompt using the news and tell the language model to behave like a financial advisor, ask it to make prediction for the next week. But essentially, this is just some random text from a language model, so please don't take the ad advice seriously. 
so I can share you some of the intermediate steps with my project. So this is the news of an uh, Apple stock I collected from uh, this month. This is uh, January 2025. It's collected in JSON format and it becomes an array of news. In each week, we have around 100 to 200 news articles about Apple. We only need the summary of each article. Then I have the Python script help me generate the prompt to the language model later. And as you know that um, the language model normally has limited tokens that you can pass into that. You can limit the length of your prompt by sampling just part of the news dataset. Then in the final prompt, you will see that these are the information of the stock I'm interested in. Please generate a financial analysis report to me, including the positive developments, potential concern, and the prediction for the price. And here I have a Jupyter notebook to send the prompt to the to the Gipsic model running by LLM Studio. You can use the OpenAI client to connect to your local LLM. You can get the complete prompt from the Python script just now. And from here, you can send the query to the language model. And in the end, you can extract the useful information from the response. So let's try to run it. You can see here, I'm only interested in Apple stock and uh, the data is from the complete month of January. In the future, I can also include many other symbols to this list. So here, I'm go going to run the core step uh, of this project. So as a demonstration, I printed out the complete prompt. This is a system prompt. It's telling the language model to respond using the given format. I sampled 8 news from the news dataset I collected for each week. And finally, this is a question I'm asking the model. I give it all the news before January 26th, and I ask the model to give prediction for the next week. And at this moment, uh, you can also see that the GPU usage is reaching 100%. At the back, the language model takes um, 19 gigabytes of RAM. CPU usage is around 40. And here is the output. We are processing data for Apple. The whole program runs 48 seconds, and you get this prediction. What we really care about is this part. We expect the stock price to drop around 5%. This whole process looks very decent to me as a first try. This is a much fun way to use a maxed out Macbook and also to use a really big language model on, on your local machine. In the future video, I will keep on improving this model because uh, I also did a back test. Right now, if you follow the advice from DeepSeek, you will definitely lose your home. So don't, don't try that. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.